If you're an Android diehard, with so many tablets powered by Google's OS hitting the market, it's already getting difficult to choose the best. So we've put a selection through their paces to see which one comes out top. Stepping up to be poked, prodded and touched, we've got the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, the Sony Tablet S, the Motorola Zoom and the HTC Flyer. The Sony Tablet's unique 9.4 inch screen size is thicker at one end, giving the screen a slightly raised feel on a flat surface. However, this quirky feature is let down slightly by an annoying flap over the connectivity slots that doesn't need to be there. The zoom feels really sturdy, although a tad on the weighty side, but a brushed aluminium back and rubber edged bezel will help you keep a firm grip in the hands. The smaller HTC flyer sits happily in one hand, and the white chassis is a nice touch. But the Galaxy Tab came top in the style stakes, with its smooth and sleek bodywork featuring a super lightweight 0.4 inch depth. The zoom was the slowest to start up in our tests, taking over a minute to load. The averagely impressive Tablet S and Galaxy Tab came in at 30 seconds and 24 seconds respectively, but top of the turn on test was the HTC Flyer, speeding through at a lightning quick 5 seconds. The Tablet Test really stands out with its customization of Honeycomb. The app menu comes in a white accent, while all the others on test feature a mundane black, and icons have also been given a makeover by Sony. The tiles on the Galaxy Tab's multiple home screens are also a refreshing change to the usual Android tab pages, which can get cluttered. We tested how long it took to load a content-rich web page and play a video on YouTube. Packing an NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor, the Sony Tab loaded the site in just 3 seconds, but the rest of the group weren't that far behind, with most finishing the test in around 6 seconds. We enjoyed the video quality on Samsung's contender the most, but all tablets streamed smoothly and simply, although the zoom and flyer took a little longer to buffer the entire video. The Sony S has a head start when it comes to gaming, being able to run a whole suite of PlayStation certified games, and managing to do so ably, thanks to an Nvidia graphics chip on board. However, playing Cordy on the Zoom and Galaxy Tab was a pleasant experience on their high resolution 10.1 inch screens too. Gamers will probably feel the HTC Flyer's 7 inch screen is a little restrictive, but the graphics didn't suffer and matched the power of the rest on test. For the price, around £340 for the 3G flavour. Motorola Zoom is a sturdy piece of tech, but we did find it slightly laggy, and we prefer watching videos on the larger devices rather than the HTC Flyer's smaller 7-inch offering. We love the preloaded PlayStation certified games on the Sony S and the customised Honeycomb UI too, but when it comes to our ultimate Android tablet, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 is the one we're desperate to take home with us. The home screen tiles are great looking and tidy, it's speedy, lightweight and the sleek and sexy body feels great to hold. If an Android tablet is going to topple Apple's iPad 2, the Galaxy Tab 10.1 definitely has the best chance.